Good morning, everybody. I'm Miss Bessie Bill Blessing. This is my reading today for August 21st, 2018. This is my reading for my Libras. So, hello, my Libras. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel. And please leave me some comments in the comment section down below. Thank you so very much. You're greatly appreciated for being here. Okay, Libras, the first card that came out for you is the Temperance card. You have Temperance, and then you have the Seven of Cups. So, Temperance is the card is telling you about some of you are contemplating you're needing clarity and patience mm -hmm. so it's a point the way to understanding the nature of heaven or earth wow mm -hmm. that's what temperance mean. i thought temperance is some balance and all right now tell it like it is the seven of cups is you have the Seven of Cups here, or the Seven of Cups is definitely telling you to search for attainment, knowledge, riches, etc., etc. <laughs> but it, but it's also about imagination. Um, imagination a stronger. It's telling you that your imagination is stronger than ever. That's what it's saying. Damn it, got it. <laughs> The Seven of Pentacles is out for you guys. So when the Seven of Pentacles comes into the reading, the Seven of Pentacles is talking about cultivating material gain. That's what it says. Cultivating material gain is a combination of individual effort and hard labor. Okay, so some of you need to just work and not attain what you want here. You have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, when it comes to it, is about a young man bearing information or spiritual importance. Mm -hmm. You have the Devil card here. Hmm. The Devil. So the Devil is about man's most destructive qualities unleashed. Great caution and awareness necessary in business or personal relationships. Mm -hmm. You also have the high priestess. So this is major kind of here, you guys. I love when high priestess comes to reading. You can't. She is very intuitive. I love the high priestess. She tells you to follow your intuition at all times. Very much about intuition. And she says that you have insight so pay attention to that it's about wisdom and mystery that's right her acute mind could be applied to the sciences but this is just a very intuitive person she's telling you to pay attention to your surroundings pay attention to who you're allowing to your life pay attention to your gut instinct when the hair stands up on the back of your neck things of that sort because it'll never lead you astray the hangman is telling you to follow to look at things from a different perspective. It ain't about following that. Let me stop saying that following. <laughs> Y'all got to forgive me because I'm in kind of a crazy mood today. Ooh, what's wrong with me? The Three of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about sorrow, mm -hmm, delays, and disappointment. One who chooses power over emotions and it's definitely about heartache and pain with the Five of Cups. Some of you are feeling like you shit the Five of Cups. Three cups is down and two cups is up. And then you can do about three cups is down. You got to work with the two cups that you have up. The queen of cups is a wonderful person to have into your life. This is a water sign individual. She's warm and loving. She has a great emotional depth, which she will gladly share with those in distress. So if you have a water sign woman in your life, a Scorpio, mm -hmm, Cancer, or Pisces, them people can give you some insight, y'all. I'm telling you the truth. The Eight of Swords is basically telling you shit. Some of you are just bound in your mind in regard to a situation. Bound by... It said bound by dictates of authority. One <laughs> who is unable to free themselves, himself or herself, from a crisis or something that's going on. But that's not true because I have these other cards, y'all. Right behind us, she got another sword. She want to get loose, she can. Just be binding your mind. Stop letting people bind your mind up. Come out of that. You have the Nine of Pentacles here. Now, this is a beautiful card. Talks about money, y'all. So, the Nine of Pentacles is one content with financial success 
and outward accomplishment. So you're gonna be accomplishing something really, really good. And then you have the partnership card. So you're gonna have finances and you're gonna have a partnership. So it could be in a job. Maybe you wanna have a partnership with somebody in a job. Be careful who you partner with because everybody ain't right though. The last card you have is the Ace of Wands. And Ace of Wands is basically talking about Ace of Wands talks about creativity. It's the source and origin of spiritual strength. The seed of inspiration and creativity. All right, somebody, please like, subscribe, comment to my channel. Thank you so very much, my Libras.